Hello and welcome to Lesson 3, Free Will and Determinism. Determinism. This refers to the idea that behaviour may be caused by either an external or external factor over which we have little or no control. There are several types of determinism you need to know. The first is biological determinism. All human behaviour, according to biological determinism, has a physiological cause. This could be the result of genes, brain structure, etc. Some examples might be schizophrenia, which is thought to be partly genetic, but also can be explained through brain abnormalities. The belief that biological factors are the sole cause is what is referred to as biological determinism. The belief that behaviour is caused by genetics is genetic determinism. Environmental determinism. In environmental determinism, behaviour is determined by the environment through learning. Every individual has a different history of behavioural reinforcement, and this allows us to predict how they will behave if we know their history. So the behaviourist approach learning theories adopt an environmentally deterministic outlook on behaviour. Another type is psychic determinism. This is characterised by Freud's theory of personality, the unconscious. Um, Freud believes that many of our behaviours are the result of childhood trauma or being fixated at certain stages during development or other factors. However, he did realise, if you remember the iceberg, that some decisions are um, accessible and made by the conscious mind. For example, the decision to undergo psychoanalysis therapy would be a conscious one for Freud. Scientific determinism. One of the limitations with scientific research is it works on the assumption of cause and effect. If cause and effect of all behaviour has a cause, you can trace that behaviour back to something over which you had no control. Usually something in nature. Therefore the scientific approach assumes quite a bit of determinism. It's inbuilt. Free will. There are two approaches that adopt the principle of free will. The cognitive approach is the least deterministic scientific approach and recognises the freedom individuals have to use language and memory and so forth. The humanistic approach has a strong belief in free will as a route to self actualization and there's a lot of emphasis on individuals' feelings. And that if they feel controlled by others, that this is actually a barrier to achieving self-actualization. Soft versus hard determinism. Hard determinism adopts the belief that there is no such thing as free will. It doesn't exist, it's not worth talking about. Very few positions adopt a hard deterministic point of view. Self-determinism is more common and most of the approaches here sit along this spectrum. So self-determinism adopts the view that we have free will, however our decisions are restricted by psychological traits such as pers personality, could be restricted by IQ, um, could be restricted by biological mechanisms as well. If biopsychology and behaviourism are relatively hard deterministic, they're hard determinism. Psychodynamic is over, more of the soft side. The cognitive and the humanistic are on the other side, heading towards free will. Implications for personal responsibility.